It's time now to check in with Kylie Valletta for this week's Business of Health. Thanks, Gary. IU Ventures is investing nearly a half million dollars in a startup that centers on patients helping other patients. Paul Hoffman is a cancer survivor and IU Kelly School of Business graduate. He remembers feeling lost when he was diagnosed with cancer and wanted to talk to other patients with the same diagnosis who had success stories. That experience opened the door to his latest venture called In Tandem Health. While some health systems do have mentor programs, Hoffman says they're clunky and require medical staff to do much of the legwork. In Tandem Health says it's the next generation, adding technology to connect newly diagnosed patients with peer mentors. They can communicate on the platform and a hospital staff member can manage the mentor groups. And so it's also going to empower these patients that are newly diagnosed to have better uh, visits with their doctor. So now they're, they're less anxious and now they have all this information and knowledge and now they've been given this roadmap from their mentor and they're gonna have much better uh, appointments which hopefully lead to better outcomes. And then I think the, the final thing would be um, it will create um, community, bring more patients, retain more patients and really make uh, consumers feel like this hospital cares and they've humanized the healthcare experience by allowing me to talk to somebody who's a grateful, experienced patient. This is Hoffman's second venture. His hospital online billing company was acquired in 2006. South Bend-based Beacon Health has opened a 20,000 square foot, nearly $12 million healthcare center in Goshen to help keep up with the growing demand for outpatient services. The Beacon Goshen Outpatient Center will include urgent care, an imaging center, and a range of specialists. It is the first Beacon location to feature an open MRI and kiosks for patient check-ins. As part of a corporate restructuring of its primary care operation, Marathon Health says it has cut 94 jobs. The private company, which splits its headquarters between Indianapolis and suburban Burlington, Vermont, says the cuts amount to about 6% of its workforce and were largely in non-clinical positions. Co-founder Ben Evans says despite the cuts, the company is expanding into new markets and has about 200 open positions, including nearly 30 in Indiana.